So here's how it goes. There were these two men in Calgary who were negotiating over the price of the home. The owner and the bidder decided to Google each other and they both learned that they both have a background in hockey. The bidder actually used to play in the National Hockey League. All right, so former pro. A former pro and the owner is a you know, rec league player and, he, and they both thought to themselves, okay, there's a $3,000 gap here. No one's budging. How are we going to solve this? So someone, and I'm not sure exactly who, and there seems to be some conflicting reports about who came up with the idea. They said, let's just solve this on the ice. So it was a best of 11 competition. It was a shootout with the owner playing goalie and the bidder shooting. And uh, the rec league player took it. He won. So there you go, a triumph of the, the small man, the David versus Goliath, <laughs> this former pro, the rec league guy, and, and he, he, he took the day. Yeah, you know, I thought it was so funny how I was speaking to the real estate agent representing the owner, and he, he said, you know, it was like an old Mexican standoff, but a Canadian standoff in this case. And he said, you know, in markets like Calgary, it's, it's a tough market right now. It's a down market, a buyer's market. You have to be creative. And what a creative way to find a solution to what was, I understand, very heated negotiations. Apparently the, the talks were on the verge of collapsing when they came up with this idea. And only that $3,000 gap, and that's what bridged it, just settling it on the ice, the old-fashioned Canadian way. You wonder in some other markets where people get, this is obviously a buyer and the, the person selling the home, but you wonder maybe like you got two buyers up against each other. I start, start giving that advice more. to you. Picture, picture a real estate agent saying, you know what, the only way we're going to settle this is just take up two sticks <laughs> two and sticks hand it to them. And maybe it doesn't have to be ice. It could be in the street. It'd be cool if it was on the street right in front of the house I like for this. Sale. We should make this a thing. But you know what, the real estate agents decided to get in on the action too. This is kind of funny. So they had to rent the ice. Obviously, you can't just go and you know, take to the ice. So the agents decided that whoever was the loser, whoever represented the loser, would have to pay, pay the, for the ice fee. Time. <laughs> so yeah, the loser had to not only pay the fee, they also had to pay a little bit more to buy the home. But what I understand is that they shared the locker room before and after. Mm -hmm. And it was nothing but, you know, smiles and handshakes. And, and there were about 30 people watching as well. So it turned into this big event uh, as, a, as a very creative way to find a solution to hard talks, I guess, over home. I'm starting to see hockey as the cure to everything. I don't know. <laughs> maybe if China and the United States want to rent a little ice and get out there and just uh, finally put this trade war behind us. We'll hand them some double-doubles. Best of 11. And, Best of 11 and, and go for it. Go. <laughs> it might work. Thanks, that Paige. Thank you.